Let's bring you this now. Despite the deteriorating conditions of South Africa's cities, they're still home to most of the country's workforce. City residents face several challenges, including old and ailing infrastructure, inadequate access to social support services, and minimal employment opportunities. Now, Anglo-American, along with several other private and public stakeholders, are attempting to rejuvenate the city in several ways. The company has donated its 45 Main Street building to the Maharashtra Maharishi Invincibility Institute aimed at providing um, education to underprivileged youth in the city. The Institute CEO, Dr. Teddy Bletcher, joins us this afternoon for more. A very good afternoon to you, Doc, and perhaps we can start by saying how important is this particular donation when it comes uh, to the mandate that you have as an institute uh, to uh, provide those services to uh, the young people? Hi, Rafiwa. It's wonderful to meet you, and thank you very much uh, for this opportunity to share. Um, yes, Anglo-American has done something, I, I think, ab absolutely of the greatest legacy for the future of the Johannesburg city, donating this 42,000 square meter magnificent uh, monument, uh, one of their main uh, head office buildings, to the Mahashi Invincibility Institute, allowing us to take an additional 3,500 students per year this will allow us to increase our footprint in the Johannesburg CBD to 5,000 youth per year that we can educate. And so it's really a game changer for us. It allows us to get to a real significant mass, uh, a critical mass in terms of education for youth, placing them into critical scarce skills jobs. Mm. And, and give us that uh, mandate of the Maharishi Inst uh, Institute, Invincibility Institute. What kind of education are you providing to these young people and the kind of preparation you're giving them to be ready for uh, the world that they'll be entering post their education? Brilliant. Uh, Rafiwa, so uh, Maharishi Invincibility Institute um, has education at different levels. We have a college, uh, we have a high school, uh, we even have a preschool. Uh, but our main focus is uh, we have 12 uh, professional industry academies that are all based on critical scare skills that we get young people into very, very high level quality jobs. Uh, so these are things like cybersecurity, human computer interface, insurance, uh, finance, investment banking. Uh, there's a whole range of these fields that, that are very high level um, uh, jobs. Um, and since Anglo-American donated us our first building in the year 2005, which is just across the road from this building, um, we've been able to educate 22,000 young people and been able to place over 19,000 of these youth into quality jobs across South Africa's economy. Uh, so that's really the kinds of uh, jobs we're focusing on uh, for young people. And we, we provide virtually free education, so no student would pay more than 200 Rand per month. If they come into the high school, um, then it's 100% scholarship. Uh, so it's, it's world-leading education to make it available to all. Um, and so it's really promoting equity and opportunity uh, for everybody. Mm. Now, you've got uh, corporate stakeholders like Anglo-American that have come on board and donated the building that they have. But surely the Institute is in need of other resources to make sure that you're providing this quality education, which, by the way, as you've just mentioned, ensures a placement in employment afterwards. Um, what would some of those other resources uh, that the Institute needs to make sure that you're able to carry on the quality education that you have been providing across your institute? Yes, so Rafiwa, we've had a um, look, our, 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 our non-profit, the Marish Invincibility Institute, had a relationship with Anglo since, since its founding, uh, and our mother non-profit organizations had a relationship with Anglo-American now. It's our 44th year. Um, I joined the organization as CEO 28 and a half years ago, um, so I've been involved for, for a long time. Uh, the types of resources uh, to make quality education available are obviously building infrastructure and then technology. We use a lot of technology, so we have hundreds of computers, um, uh, high-speed internet, um, computer laboratories, science laboratories, um, and then it's... Uh, you know, finding excellent uh, high quality teachers and lecturers um, in each field, um, focusing on, we provide all the textbooks for students. Um, we provide meals every day. Um, so we've got wonderful sponsors, I would say, um, across the board. And we're always uh, finding other, you know, additional 
uh, companies, etc., that do want to help young people to get an education, um, to get good jobs, and and to improve their lives and that of their families. Mm. How are you dealing with the issue of a load shedding? Um, I mean, this uh, doc is something that has hit mm -hmm. every industry quite hard. And with your focus area when it comes to the development of the skills that you've described to us, that is a critical component of making sure that these skills are uh, put onto those learners and which they will take out into the working world. Yeah, so it's, it's a very good question and this affects every, every kind of industry. Um, we we um, are in the process of actually installing quite a big uh, solar installation um, across all of uh, our Johannesburg buildings, and um, this this will really ease uh, the situation with load shedding. Uh, but we do have uh, you know large generators. We have uh, UPS uh, as well for uninterrupted power. So it it does affect us, uh, but um, we're, we're working continuously to make sure that. Um, it will affect us less and less and hopefully eventually not at all. You and everyone else across the country, Doctor, have that hope. Thank you very much uh, for joining us this afternoon with uh, that wonderful development there, uh, Dr. Taddy Bletcher from the Maharishi Invincibility Institute. Uh